Hey, this is Dr. Sean over at Natural Body Works, and today we're going to talk about something a little bit different that I use for diagnostic purposes, which is how I can find some issues with the body. And today we're going to use a tuning fork. Now, tuning forks is, you know, you basically you strike it, and you'll hear, I don't know if you can hear that, but you hear that woo-woo, that's a 128 middle C right there, and it has these little bell things at the top, that's so you can strike it easier and it vibrates, so you can actually feel the vibration. If I hold it even on the camera, you hear that little buzz, that's the vibration of this. So we can use it for a couple different things. People have used them for healing, for sound is healing forever, from a simple hum to maybe even music that's played. So this though, we're using diagnostically. There's a couple different ways we can use it. Number one, we can see if someone has a nerve issue, if they can't feel very well, if there's a nerve pathology or some nerve injury, we can place this and you should be able to feel it. If you can't feel it, then maybe there's an issue. That's one way we can look at it. Another one is to put it on top of the head. You can hear it inside your head, this like hum sound, and that can give you information on whether it's a neurological or osseous problem with the inner ear, the, 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 the hearing parts of the ear. So what you do is you do this until you can't hear it anymore. Like, it up here and then once you can't hear it you come down you can still hear it again at the sides that gives you a chance to help mm, change the diagnosis or look deeper into a diagnosis of maybe hearing issues we see this with people that have had concussions neck injuries head injuries uh, maybe tinnitus or tinnitus depending on which one you want to consider it as whatever but here's one of the most interesting ways that I use the, the tuning fork and it works actually which is kind of cool now we can get people that come in with injuries that seem like they might be a fracture but you know there's not an obvious like you know bent arm or bent finger or something like that but there is pain I've sent many patients to x-ray had an x-ray done right after the injury and nothing comes back it shows up as normal so the idea though is to see when you have an injury to a bone, there's a covering around it called the periosteum. That periosteum has a lot of nerve fibers. Bone has a lot of blood supply to it, believe it or not. And so if you break it, it does bleed inside so you can get some, ble some bleeding in the area. But that can show up in any sprain as well. So what we do is we take the tuning fork and you give it a good smack and get that good vibration going. Let me see if I can, you can see it even. Yeah, you can kind of even see like how it vibrates right there. Check that out. So what you do is you take the end, this end here. Let's say I'm, a, I'm thinking maybe it's like a boxer's fracture or some kind of fracture in the hand. I would put this right on there and that vibration would go through the bone. Once the vibration goes through the bone, if there's a disruption in the periosteum or if there's some kind of like crack in there, it will catch there and boy oh boy you'll know it. It really hurts. So we did have a little girl who came in a few weeks ago and she had had x-rays on her ankle and it was a lot of pain for her to walk around. She'd even cry when you even touched it and they thought maybe she was tricking or you know she was just overplaying it. But once we did this, you know, they had taken x-rays and saw, saw nothing. So she was completely clear. So they're like, ah, you'll be fine. But then we took this a couple days later, check it on the ankle, a lot of pain. We sent her back after about seven days after the initial injury to see if there was a difference. And sure enough, that's when you start seeing this like sclerosis or this like, um, uh, white line basically in the bone where there was a small fracture. It was a, like a crack. Still hurts. You know, she still had to wear a little bit of a, not a cast, but she wore a boot. Anyway, but it was a much easier way and, and help the parents um, better care for their daughter and also help me, you know, with just this, proof technology completely wrong. So don't always, you know, like when you have a test or whatever, always get a second opinion. Always look for other ways to find out what's going on because there's so many things that can cause problems that we don't even you know, we don't even take a second to deny, you know, once we get an MRI or an x-ray or an EKG or even have our blood pressure taken, we think that's the gospel truth, that's not the case. All of you are completely unique. Every moment you're unique, for example, if it is blood pressure, if you came in and were having a wonderful day, my office is very generally cozy and feels like a nice, gentle place to hang out, so people's blood pressure stay low. But if you get what's called white coat hypertension, someone comes in, they've got rubber gloves on, you don't know what they're going to be doing to you, they take your blood pressure, your blood pressure is always going to be higher. Usually they have you sit down for a few minutes, chat, you feel a little bit better, they take your blood pressure, your blood pressure lower. That's a typical thing. So you can't take it once and think that's your blood pressure. Or what if you came to the office and you were late and someone tried to cut you off and you were you spilled your coffee and all this stuff, you came in, you're very flustered, we take your blood pressure, it's way high. Now am I going to tell you that you're, you have high blood pressure? Well, we can get you on some medicine, 
but that's not the way that you really are. It's kind of like taking a picture of outside thinking that, you know, this is exactly how it looks all the time. It's just not the way it is. So all of your tests are like that, including your blood tests, including your MRIs, CT scans, x-rays, EKGs, uh, whatever test you had, you got to do it again and again and again, and maybe even by different people because different people can find completely different things. That's why they call medicine a practice. That's why I have a practice here. Um, I get to practice on people. It's never the same with any two people. Anyway, this is Dr. Sean over at Natural Body Works here in Parker, Colorado. Just wanted to give you guys some information on some of the wacky, crazy things that we do here. Um, uh, I've used some, some of the other things too, but I'll show you more as we go on. Um, tuning fork, they're cheap, they're easy. You can find all kinds of cool things with them. And there's even more. You can do healing stuff with them too. So anyway, go down to the bottom and uh, uh, please like the video if you like it. Um, comment if you have information or you want information or anything like that. And um, uh, subscribe so we can, you know, get the information out. I have a lot of more videos that I've done. I just got to finish editing them and putting them in here um, and, you know, deal with the whole YouTube thing. But anyway, um, yeah, so you can give us a call or, or give me an email. I always, I try to always uh, uh, respond to them. But anyway, this is Dr. Sean over at Natural Body Works here in Parker, Colorado. It's beautiful here. It's June 2018. Um, things are looking good. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Take care of yourselves. If you can't take care of yourselves, have someone help you. Come in here. We can do some stuff with you. We'll work with you.